Hi, I'm Corden C and I'm the developer of this game, Concealed Intent, and today I'm going to play through the first few missions and maybe give a few tips and tricks and just the general thoughts on how I, the developer, uh, think about the tactics to play the game. Uh, okay, so I'm going to skip the first mission, Scatter, and start with the second campaign mission, Pick Up. Okay, the first thing we see is the reload screen. So this is our ship for the, well, for the entire uh, campaign. We'll be flying the Corvette, which is a very, the modular Corvette, which is a very flexible and adaptable ship. It comes from a different part of the galaxy where they're a bit more technologically advanced. So a Corvette out in this, on the rim of the uh, galaxy, is more than a match for some of the larger ships that are locally constructed, like the destroyers and the cruisers. So we're going to just load up with everything they, everything we can. So we just click on them and we uh, they move over to our loadout. So now we have three drones, a pulse laser, powered on these sensors, five chaff, and of course the engine. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so the first issue is that the station we're supposed to be going to for our cousin to pick up some cargo is under attack by some pirates the red unknown spheres you can see they're quite a distance away uh, attacking and their supply shuttle is also under attack so this is the supply shuttle here and they want us to help them so let's do that now the first thing we'll just scroll around you can see there's a few uh, there's a planet there the station and the first thing we generally do is to launch drones. Drones have, uh, have two benefits. Firstly they'll share their detection with you so you can put them out near the enemy and they'll get a good detection and the second reason is when they're out near the enemy and getting a good detection uh, they'll probably get shot at and you won't because if your ship the Corvette gets blown up, the Corvette here gets blown up, that's it, that's the end. Uh, you have to start again for that mission. But if your drone gets blown up, yeah, it's, it's no problem. And if you if you play chess, you could think of the drones as like uh, as like the pawns. You're not really worried too much about them. They're very they can be very useful if used uh, if used well. But generally, you're not going to be too worried if you lose one. So here I'm going to start by moving the three drones out. And I'm going to turn the Omni on for the sensor shell on for one of them. So one of them will have active sensors. Now, actually, I'm not going to turn that one on, and I'll explain why in a sec. Okay, I'm going to turn this one on. Now, they were all going to share the detection. So whatever the detection this one has, which will probably, because it has access, active sensors, it'll probably have the best detection on enemy ships. Uh, whatever detection it has, all the others will have pretty similar detection. I'm turning this one on because this one is coming out this way closest to this the closest enemy. Okay so let's see how that goes. I'm going to leave uh, my ship behind uh, just for now. So the, the, uh, the drones will be between me and the enemy. So if they want to attack me they'll have to come through the enemy. Okay, so let's get that for now. Did you? I'll just uh, one of the things you can do very useful is you can hit replay to see again. So this one comes out and around. These go around. Station defense goes in. So it looks like most of these are going to be focusing on the station. Oh, and we can see two disappeared and up. Then then they came back again. Okay, all your all your ships will share detection. And if you've got a high signature at close range, the enemy will, is likely to fire. So they got a nice, good shot on you. Okay, so these ones are all reasonably far away. This one's got 28%. So why don't we just... And now we can start moving the, uh, the main ship up. Now, something to think about is if I attack with this drone here, it's now its signature has gone up quite high. In fact, its signature was high star, which means it's going to be, and if you compare that to the others, you can see over here, they're all pretty much the same, but number three is a bit higher. So that is the one that's going to be most detected by the enemy. 
So I'm just going to, and now it's shooting as well, so now it's going to be even better detected. So that's going to be my sort of canary, and hopefully all the all the enemy ships will focus on that one. So I just might as well make it as noisy as I want. I'll fly it in there like that. Because it's probably they're going to want to shoot at anyway, so might as well might as well let them. So that for reasons I put on uh, sensors on this one. I've let it shoot at this. Bit of luck. Don't, we don't know what this is yet, but six six hull damage put a dent in most ships. Oh, and we hit it. That was quite lucky. So there, what happened was this drone here, on its 30% chance, hit this here, which must have been a drone, and it's now gone. Now, and it was attacking the shuttle, so the shuttle, but they missed. In the meantime, in the meantime, uh, they've destroyed the station defense. I mean, there's a drone here, and these three are still unknown. So now, this is going to be a very high, uh, high target for these because it's quite well, uh, probably quite well detected. So we're just going to move my ship up a little bit closer, and we're going to move this one away because maybe we're going to be lucky. Maybe they'll miss because um, they're going to be shooting at this, very likely. And what we'll do is with the others, we'll shoot at this drone here. 45, 45. If it's a drone, if either of those hit, it should they should destroy that drone. 245% chance is a pretty good chance of taking out that drone this turn. And this one, it's going to get shot at, so there's a good chance it's going to get destroyed. So we might as well just, oh, 26%, 5 damage, that's a pretty good chance, so we'll do that, and then we'll just move it away. The idea being, if they don't destroy it this turn, then by the time it's out here, it'll probably be too far away for them to destroy it with a single shot. So let's see how that goes. Oh, and should I move one of these up? Yeah, I'll move one of these up. So, so we can see what's up over here. Yep. Okay, so let's see how that goes. Has that didn't go too badly for me. So we'll just uh, we'll just play that again so you can see. They destroyed my drone here, but these two are destroyed. Who actually destroyed that? I would have destroyed this one. Oh, and then, ha, that must have been a drone. And we now know this is a ship. So that's quite, that's quite big. One of the uh, things you often do, not, I haven't actually done it in this one, is that uh, you might send uh, a drone or a probe far forward to quickly identify which are the ships and which are the drones. Because if you can, you want to destroy the ships first. Because if you destroy the ships, then can we get that? Down? Yeah. If you destroy the ships, then their drones become inactive, so that can be quite handy. So there, we've got quite a bit of distance on the others. Yeah. So yeah, percent twenty-five. Okay. So this is a slightly better chance. And. Um, what I've done here is I've turned on uh, turned on chaff to drop the signature on my Corvette down to zero. I could just I could just do oops let's just uh, right click to do a few so just to lower it. But the thing is that these these enemy ships probably already have a decent lock. So by turning on more by not turning it on turning on enough uh, chaff to reduce my signature, I will slow their game. But I won't really stop it. So what it was, is what will happen is, say, let's say for sake of argument, they're at 50% chance to hit me. By turning on two chaffle flares and reducing halving my uh, signature, they might go to 55% chance. So it's still a good chance to hit me. Whereas if I don't turn on any chaff, they may be at like 60, 65% chance. So I've slowed them down by doing that. But what I want to do is do that, and now I completely disappear from the centers. From their sensors, I'll be at zero, and that means I'll have to focus on my drones. So what I'm going to do is move my drones out a bit because now they're going to. Because uh, after this disappears, they're going to focus on my drones because they won't be able to see my ship, so they'll only be able to shoot at the drones. So I move the drones away in preparation for that. Oh. 
Okay, so now we can see they're both ships and we've got quite a bit better lock on this. No idea yet whether those previous shots hit, so hopefully they did. And we're going to shoot again. Uh, that came... how did that move? That came round under here. So we'll assume that they're probably... that ship is probably going to be coming up around here. So we'll move just a little bit forward. Range on this is probably not very good. One point damage, 65% chance. Yeah. How much over here? 33 for like right, well, 65% for one point damage is better than uh, one point at 35% chance. And that one does four at 33. But also, it's quite close to the station, so hopefully the station will also attack it. And we'll, positions are quite good. I mean, if it comes out here, we should still be able to get a good. Actually, let's turn that, the sensors on that one because it's good distance, they probably won't be able to get do much damage with their lasers at that distance to this one, but it'll still get a few extra percent, so that's probably worth it. Let's see how that goes. Okay, alright. Having done that, the only thing I should have done, now that I've realised, is I should have moved this drone away, because now it's obvious target for this pirate here, so I, I should have really moved it out here before, which I'll do now. Uh, and move this one forward and move this forward because we outnumber them pretty heavily now. There's three of my ships, one of theirs, well, their station which is attacking. So hopefully, with a bit of luck, this will be it, and if not, it will definitely be the end next turn. Okay, so. So, how much damage have they? Taking seven. Oh well, no, it might be might be more than one turn. Is that over here? Ah, no, ah, ah, lost the drone. That was, yeah. Okay, so there we go. And only only one stripe. Oh well, I should have moved that last drone away. But uh, there'll be lots of uh, in the early missions. There's lots of chances to reload. So it's actually not a big deal to lose your drones. Don't worry about them too much. Okay, here again, I take a couple of drones because they're super useful. Take some chaff because that's super useful. I might be able to take it all. I can take everything because I lost two drones, so I've got the capacity. That's the benefit of the Corvette. It's very large capacity. So this time I'm going in there with three laser drones and a probe, and also two weapons. The beam weapons are quite useful. They do less damage than the pulse weapons, but they've got much longer range. You can see here the range is uh, 3,800, 3,900 on the small one. And a medium pulse, well it's 4,000, but uh, if there was a medium beam, it would actually the distance would be longer. The best long distance weapon is the heavy beam, which you may see later. Okay, how did you find us? No matter, our shielding will protect us from long range shots. Come close and get us if you think you can. Finally, we can get paid. Okay. The, uh, the hit there that they're giving you is, well, twofold. Firstly, that they're uh, shielded. Can we actually see if we click on them? No, we don't know. Don't know for certain that they've got shielded, but they're hinting they do. And what the shielding does is it takes away depending how many shields they've got, it takes away a certain amount of damage from each shot. So if you've got one shield, that takes away one damage from every time you're hit. So if you're firing at them, um, and you would normally do one point of damage, but they've got shields, then you do zero. That can be quite handy. And the other thing that there is, is um, uh, our repairers, and they do it not on each, on each hit, but at the end of each turn, they'll give you back. Uh, a single a single hull point. So here I've launched my drone and I'll turn on LiDAR. So I've launched the, it's the probe. Probes have very powerful active sensors and you can see the size of it. The size, the power of a sensor is related to the size of its shell that you can see beyond it. So here it's very powerful sensors as you can see by the big size. So we'll get a very good view of what's going on uh, over there. 
and this is really what probes are for. Use them as a distraction to the enemy, so they, hopefully they shoot the probe rather than something more important. Uh, and use them as a finding out about the enemy, what's there, who are they, what are they. Okay, and also I'm going to launch all my drones. Now, they're very keen for me to go over there, so I'm going to be very keen not to do what they want. And move very slowly, so I'll just move the drones a little bit forward. And let's see what's up. Ah, uh, right. Okay, so now you can see why they wanted you to come over to them. There's obviously a large number of uh, other ships around them in a, in a little formation. And also, when we click on that, we can now see they have shielding of two, which means that, is, as you can see on the tooltip, two damage is taken off every hit. So that means the potential damage has to be at least three before it's worthwhile. So if we go to one of our ships, are we in range to shoot them? Yes. So if we do that, you can see it's doing one point of damage, but then it'll be one, minus two from shielding, zero. You can't, you, by the way, you can't go lower than zero. You're not going to heal them. Um, but that's not going to do any good at all. So there's no point in attacking, no point in increasing your signature. So let's instead find out what's going up, going on up here. We'll move the probe up there, and we'll move two others. Oops, down a bit. Okay. So now we've got two drones, two laser drones and a probe heading up towards this one, and one drone and the ship moving down towards this one, making sure that the ship is behind the drone. Okay, so now we can see they're a mine. This one's a mine. These one, none, none of the others moved, so they're probably mines as well. Mines are basically just sensor arrays and lasers and nothing else. So that means that this probe is probably about to get shot at. So we'll, just in case they miss, maybe we're lucky, we'll move it away. And then we'll shoot at the mine. 39% chance, two shots at 39%. Mines also tend to have very low hull, so there's a very good chance that a hit will destroy it. What's this? 28% chance, so we'll do the same here. Oh, and now my ship has two weapons on it. Remember, it had the medium pulse and the small beam, so I can choose which to shoot with, or both. I'm going to shoot with both. That means each has a 27% chance. So there's three weapons focused on this one, and two weapons, weapons focused on this one up here. And then we're going to move this drone away and turn its sensors off. Uh, the benefit of mines is also that they, well, besides they have um, low hull, they also tend to do low damage. Though they got very lucky and took out, took out the drone and the front row. That was bad luck for me. And I completely missed this one at the bottom. Now I've got a 49% chance. What about up there? Oh, yes. Out of range. Well, let's move them down a bit. Okay, so they're going to attack the payer. They can do f up to 4 damage. I've got 16. I'm just going let to it, let it roll. Okay. And they missed me. They missed me that time. They got lucky with the other. So now the others have disappeared because my probe isn't uh, detecting them. But if I remember, if I come around this way, I should be reasonably out of the range of the others. And how much health, how much hull does it have? 20. close enough to do... Right, so we want to be in about... within about 1600 kilometers. So that means about 2000... Yeah, so that'll be fine. And then we can do maximum damage. I don't think we're going to do enough damage to... No, there's no shoot point shooting if you're only doing two damage. No point shooting if you're only going to do damage, damage because their uh, their shields will protect them. Now we should be doing yep, 
six. This should be six. This should be six. Okay. So this will actually be four. This will actually be. I should take that one out because it's too low. This will be four. This will be four. So I'll be doing twelve points of damage. With a bit of luck, we'll be too far away for those uh, mines to do much. Okay, so we're down, we've taken about half of it off. Yeah, sure mate. I've got you now. Though we might be about to lose this drone here, drone number three, down to half its hull. So I'm still slightly too close. I should have moved this back a little bit and it might have been um, might have been enough to have it not lose enough. Ah, but they missed. Good. <laughs> Okay, uh, we can always find you just like we found your uncle. Ooh, so that means that it was uh, pirates for hire that killed our uncle. Hmm, okay, three. And again, we can now load up. So we've got three drones. Now we can take both of those. Later on, there'll be uh, harder choices about what you carry. Okay, so I, uh, I unfortunately skipped it, but it basically what it did say uh, was that we have to prove we're not a pirate. So we'll launch our drone, so we might as well launch our sensor drone, and what we'll do is we'll have our sensor drone, which is just has nothing but sensors, doing the detecting, so that uh, our ships don't have to. So our ships can be quieter because our sensor drone is doing the work. And then we'll move one over uh, over here. And we'll leave the um yeah, we'll leave the uh, we'll leave the laser drone for now. Um because it may not because they don't move, this may not be a good position for it. Okay, tons of contact. Tons of contact. Okay, let's have a look at this. So this one has got a LiDAR, so that could be a probe out there. Because you can see the, the sensor shell is the LiDAR sensor shell, the white one. These ones are all using Omnis, because they got the red shells. Mm. And these ones were moving. This one didn't move. It's, it's behind that. Behind that asteroid, so we can't actually put well, we can get a shot from there. This one we should have a decent oh, 4%. Must be distant. Okay, so we've got no good shots. So we're still still detecting. Let's go and get that probe. And if it's a probe, we haven't got weapons, so we'll take a take a risk and turn our sensors on. And the sensor mine. We'll turn on sensors in the main ship. Most of them are over here, so we'll just move over slightly. Just a little bit. And here we'll move one forward with sensors on. And the idea is next turn we'll probably just move it straight back again. Oh, and now they're shifting to the other side. Okay, alright, so this is a bit. Uh, now we can see what's going on. It is a probe. And there's a ship down there, 46%. Let's not worry about that probe because now we've got a ship to worry about. Fly out of the way. And there's another ship over here. And now this one's actually quite a good distance. So we'll just uh, move it back and focus again on that pirate. And this can come back. Get rid of the ships. Ah, oh, no, it's a long way away. So what we'll do is we'll launch the. Yeah, it's not doing much damage. It's a little, little bit, a little add up. We'll move, uh, we're heading this way, so we'll move our ship back over here a bit. I think we're still okay, we don't need to start using countermeasures yet. Um, they're still obviously setting up. Oh, there's this drone here, it's at 31%. Yeah, we'll leave that for now. I don't think we need to use countermeasures yet. We'll save them for later, because we may need, with the number, if we're a bit lucky with the exchange of fire here, then uh, we may need to start using a lot, quite a lot of chaff. We'll see how it goes. A couple of hits on that pirate. 
see again how many hits we have. One, two, two hits on that pirate. So that pirate must be. Oh, it's this one? Yes, that's almost. That pirate's almost gone. 78%, six damage, that pirate's almost gone. And we've got a lot of our uh, ships out here. That probe's just gone off to nowhere, so let's not worry about that. So. What's. Two. But then, yeah, six. So 90% for six on that one, and let's see if we can how much we can bring on this other pirate. So that's uh, two, 60%, two, 60%. Yeah, and now we're going to move our ship out of the way a bit and go back to using this sensor because now they're clustering around us a bit, coming in for the attack. So we were a bit lucky they didn't shoot, do any shooting last turn, they were still preparing. Probably because they, for some reason, they've sent that probe off to nowhere. Um, so let's see how this goes. Hopefully, we'll get rid of this pirate. Pretty good chance. And then we'll have numbers, and this, then this drone, and then we'll have numbers on these guys. So it's just going to make sure that our well, that was a bit unlucky. <laughs> Look at that again. This drone not missed. Ninety percent chance. And they got one of our other drones. So now what I should have done. Ah, but see this the pirate one pirate's at two hull. This one this pirate's at two hull. And this pirate's at three hull. So it's just slowed things down a bit. 91% chance. So let's do that. And this one with two hull. Ah! Blah. Okay, we'll move we'll move this one over here because this this pirate should be gone this turn, so we can move this over here, and then I'll have to come across the others to uh, to get us. Which actually I got them anyway. Cool. Okay, so I think that's probably enough. The first three missions. The next one's actually quite an interesting one because it introduces some new weapons. So what I'm going to do is go to skirmish and uh, load out. So these are all the possible things that you can be loaded on your ships. I'm just going to mention a few because that, that uh, will be coming up. I mentioned before the shielding which takes a bit of damage off every hit you take and repairer which gives a bit of extra hull at the end of every turn. Uh, other ones that are quite interesting and useful are the jammer and the usurper weapons and they're the ones that you're going to see when you play decode. The jammer, if you hit with a jammer, if a drone is hit with a drama, dra sorry let me say that again, if a drone is hit with a jammer then there is a chance that that drone, drone will become uh, neutral or basically uncontrolled so it will just sit there and do nothing if it's controlled. If it hits a ship, it does nothing. If it hits uh, a drone, which is already uncontrolled, it also does nothing other than, other than one damage. So you can see here, the base chance of hitting is 70%. The base, sorry, the base chance of uh, disabling a ship is 70%. So if you hit, and, but that depends on how close it is to the ship that's controlling it. The further away the controlling ship is, the better your chance of disabling it. And the usurper is a very handy weapon. Once again, does one point of damage, has a small chance of being able to disable a ship, and a moderate chance of being able to take control of a drone. So it doesn't work on any ships. If you use it against a, a pirate ship or a skiff or a destroyer, it won't do a thing other than one point of damage. But if you use it against a drone that is controlled by another ship, there's a chance that that drone will become your drone. So it'll go from being a red drone to being a, a blue drone that you can then give commands to. Very handy. It's a low chance, good chance it won't happen. In fact, most times you use it, it won't work. But when it does, it can really swing a battle. Uh, and there is a way of dealing with that, actually. And that is da -da 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 the linker, which halves the chance that, uh, that a drone is, one of your drones is disrupted. But the cost is it doubles the amount of signature that drone will add to you. So the communication at the moment is one point of signature um, per drone you're communicating with. 
If you put a linker on it, it's two, which means you'll be much easier to detect. And what's notable there is that, uh, for reference, cruisers have linkers. So their, sh their uh, drones are much, much harder to, uh, to disrupt or take control of. And the other thing is, if a drone is already uncontrolled, so it has nothing controlling it, then a hit with a usurper will automatically take control of it. So in, in the end of that previous scenario, where the, you saw a couple of the drones go yellow, if there was still fighting going on, I could then target those with my usurper, if I had one, and take control of them. Very handy. Um, especially in things like waves, in the wave skirmish. The other interesting one is the painter. What that does, again, it does almost very little damage, but if you hit a target with the painter, you increase the target's noise. And that again can be very handy. If you think your target is about to start using countermeasures to try and hide, certain ships like the interceptor and the destroyer uh, carry a lot of countermeasures and will actively try to disappear when they come in for the attack because they have very short... The interceptor and the destroyer have very, sh very, very powerful, very short-range weapons. They need to get very close to you. So to do that, they will drop lots of countermeasures, try to disappear from your centers, run up really close to you, and blast you. And so if you think that if you see a destroyer and you think they're about to do that, the painter and the equivalent drone, which is the spotter here, the spotter is essentially a probe which has slightly worse sensors but has a, uh, has a painter on it. If you hit it with the painter, it can't hide because its noise will be at least 25. And if it doesn't hide, then it will be very easy to detect. Uh, and that's the, more, the others are quite, uh, quite standard, different types of, of improving ability of, de uh, of countermeasures. Decoy is the best, but also the largest. Um, various types of sensor. Occlusion uh, sensors are very good uh, at detecting things at long range, but they're not very good at getting a good lock. So basically with occlusion sensors, you'll know something's there, but you won't know what it is. And you can't turn them active. LIDO is the complete opposite. It's very good at uh, determining what something is and where it's away, but it's very, very, it gives very, very high signature and it has no passive sensitivity. So you very quickly see what is around, but everything else will see you too. And that's what a probe has. Oh, and you can also, if people have noticed, you can also change the colour of your ship if you want. And then the various ships are the Corvette, uh, the Skiff, which is not very, uh, you know, quite a weak ship, the Frigate, which is quite well armoured, um, and uh, but quite, quite slow, then the Scout, which is quite a fragile uh, ship, and you use it at long range, the Interceptor, a close range uh, attacking ship, uh, a destroyer, another close range attacking ship, which is also heavily armoured and very powerful, and the cruiser, which has heavy beams on it, so that's very uh, good long range damage. So they like to stay at long range and essentially snipe at you. Okay, and I think that uh, should be a reasonably good introduction to the tactics of concealed intent.